Okay guys, so my fish is done. Look at that. Yummy, 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 yummy. With the cashew batter on top, you don't know what you're missing. Yummy, 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 yummy. Look at that. Mm-hmm. All right guys, so my fish is completely done, waiting patiently, okay, over here. I have my sharp cheddar cheese here yet. So good. Mm -hmm. And of course, here's my scallop. And there's still pieces in here. I'm popping those in my mouth. Don't let it go to waste. <laughs> all right, all right, guys. So we're done here. However, I have my green butter head lettuce over there. I have to rinse out real quick. I already chopped up some lemon. As you see, my daughter already. Um, she took the heads off the strawberries. I did the kiwi, that's our mess there. Here they are clean, we put them right back in that bin thing. Um, no wait, let me find a place for this. And so now we're just getting ready to add in our super delicious ingredients into our, um, also into our uh, fruit ball salad. Sorry about that, long day. So these are all the little pieces that we use. I'm sorry, I'm walking you into my trash can. Yes, I am. <laughs> okay. And of course, I got some eggs today, so that's why I was using that egg thing to, to throw the trash out. All right, guys, so let's get down to the nitty gritty. Now, however, there's my spatula. See, I'm all over the place today. <laughs> all right. Um, so I still have these kiwis left, look, but these are harder ones. So I like for them to sit for a little bit. So you can actually sit them, soak them, clean them, and let them sit with a, like a, a regular uh, coffee maker paper and just let them sit for like maybe a day or two and they'll be soft before you know it. But I was lucky the ones on the top were nice and juicy. Back to my skeleton here. When you do the fish with that lovely cashew coating, you wanna make sure you have something a little better like this when you pick them up so they don't break apart. Um, because that is like a paste, so you wanna make sure you have something a little heftier and stronger. You can push it around with one of these guys for a little bit, but when you go to pick it up, it is gonna have a nice coating, a stickiness to it, a nice crunch, and you don't wanna lose that crunch. So make sure you use a nice flat, uh, more like this to pick them up. You can push them around with this, but when you go to scoop them up so they don't fall apart, use one of those bad boys. All right, so let's get to it. All right, excuse me here. I like to soak my pans right away so that way they're nice and ready to wash later. Okay, so let's jump over here to that. Look at these babies, look how beautiful. There you have them. And so this is gonna be coming up next, y'all. And I'm just gonna actually do this video all together. I was gonna do like a part one and part two, but I think we'll be okay. It'll take a little longer to download, but it'll be worth it. I like to do everything all together. All right, guys, so as I was saying, with the green butterhead lettuce, always rinse them out. Even though they might say, uh, we've rinsed them already on the package, don't go buy that, guys, especially with everything that's going on. You always want to rinse your stuff out right away. Okay, and that's such a pretty buttered le head lettuce. I love these. Um, they don't have much taste to them, and uh, but they're very light, very fluffy, very delicious when you add some stuff on them. Okay, there you go. Look at that. Say hi, I'm like a flower. <laughs> Hope that looked all right. <laughs> all right, I did a flip side. Okay, so yeah, you just want to basically get right to the nitty gritty, to that part right there, and chop that right off. And there you have it. Make sure you get it good, right in the nitty gritty, and get rid of it. Pull the leaves that are on the side of it, because those babies are good to go. And then we're going to say bye bye to this guy. Let's just go here. It's like kitchen trash that trash is going out soon that's why that's why they're beautiful all right guys and there you have it that's pretty much it 
So let's get this party started. All right, if you see here, I have some salt. And salt goes good with kiwi. Absolutely delicious. With the mix that we're gonna do with the cranberries and that quick apple Christmas, we're gonna be adding on there. You do wanna put a little bit of salt. Salt goes wonderful with kiwi. Those of you that know. Well, now, if you don't know, now you know. <laughs> Okay guys, let me just get something heavy here on my curry so my phone don't fall. All right, so the first thing I do is I take a lemon on this because it's, it's, it says it's buttered. It doesn't taste like butter, but um, that's the name of it. Okay, look how beautiful, so pretty. I take a lemon right away and I drench it all over. All over, very beautiful. Because guess what? You're not gonna cut this much. Okay, you're gonna cut it and be careful with the seeds. I'll just make sure I listen to sure take this out. You're not gonna cut it much. You just wanna take, because you don't wanna mess up the beautiful plating either. You just wanna cut it like twice, twice around. So you just wanna grab them by bunches, twice around, and twice around, and twice around. Because you wanna leave, leave those big, pretty, like this, so pretty. So when you put the fish in, the plating looks fabulous. So this is what it should look like. One, two, three, four, chop, no problem, done. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and push this over, well back I should say, I'm pushing my lemon here to the front. We're gonna push our beautiful salad, butterhead, uh, green salad, push it back, and push the lemon to the side. Okay, see so it's still there, nice and pretty. All right, I want you guys to take a look at the rice. The rice is good. It's ready to go, guys. Simple dish. Me and my daughter got this done like in a half hour tops. A little extra hands do help. And then look at that. Look at that beautiful rice. Hello, say hi. <laughs> now this is the way my yum yum likes it. All right, he does like it just like this. All right, yesterday when I did that uh, brown rice with the black beans, he looked at me and said, Mommy, he said, mm -hmm. he said, mm -mm, I don't like. And it's not that he's just very picky with texture and color and things of that nature when it comes to food. All right, so look at that. Now that's a beautiful rice. And that's beautiful with those... Uh, those lovely uh, veterinarian beans. Gave them a little kick, took all that sodium out of that can, and gave them a little kick with that uh, simple ingredients. So frito, uh, sisal, and a little bit of adobo. All-purpose simple adobo, look at that. All right, so I just wanted to give you a little, a little show of that real quick. And we're gonna put that in the back burner, and that's done back on it to keep it nice and warm along the way. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start dressing our fish. So I'm grabbing a big plate here. All right, it's gonna be for our fish. However, before we dress, wait a minute, before we dress our fish, let's get the fruit salad together. One, two, three simple ingredients. I'm actually gonna use another plate, so let's put this aside because that's gonna be for our fish, okay? Let's finish up this food salad very quickly. Like I said, it's been a long day for me, so I'm gonna go ahead and Everybody has their days, right? Just washing my pan out here. I don't wanna move you because you're in a good angle for, for what I can see from you. All right, guys, so, of course, go right to, and this has all lemon, you know, you can squeeze lemon on here. I had no meat on this board, so we're good to go. And I do four pieces, just like that. Throw it in. This is gonna be so yummy, I cannot wait to enjoy this in a minute. And look how beautiful these strawberries are. My daughter, she actually got some mucho ice cream, mucho ice cream. So she went and took some strawberries up to her room. 
and she's dulging in that right now as we as I'm chopping this up. So I told her I, I had the rest. She definitely did the strawberries. Proud of my baby. I try to keep giving her hands on in the kitchen. Um, I tell her one day mommy's not going to be here. So I need you to know this kind of stuff so you can take care of your family. So she's all for it. She is. You just She's more into like the fruits and stuff like that. Um, baking, my daughter loves to bake. She's a, a great baker. She can um, really bake a good cake. If I get her all the ingredients, she knows exactly what to do. Um, that's pretty much my gal. All right, so I'm not gonna do too much of this salad because I don't want it to go to waste, okay? Um, because remember, we still have bananas we're adding into this, so I just wanna do a nice size bowl of this for my family. However, all the kiwi is going to go in here because kiwi goes bad quickly. So I want to make sure I get all that delicious kiwi into that bowl. Look at that. Looking so pretty already. Look at that. Alright, so, so I have all these strawberries uh, left. And what do I do? Just stick them in the fridge for when I run out of eating these bad boys. I already have them nice and clean. And all I have to do is make a nice little fruit salad for myself. Alright, so who doesn't like this quick apple crisp mix? This goes good when you do warm fruit dishes, y'all. Lovely. But only because it's a warm, uh, it's considered like a, like a crust. That doesn't mean you can't use this stuff into a regular, let me get my scissors, into a regular uh, cold salad as well. You can absolutely use this for a cold salad. All you have to do is sprinkle some of it. It's just like powdered sugar, same thing. Like I said, you can use this as is, just as it is in this packet, just as it is, and you can use this for cold ones as well. I just put it in just like that. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. And I add a little bit more. So that's what it looks like. It's just like a powdered sugar. However, this stuff is really delicious warm as well. And maybe I'll do a warm salad. Um, it's supposed to rain on Thursday. Maybe I'll make a warm um, salad that would you like some apples or something, okay? All right, so cranberries. Who doesn't like cranberries? You should, they're good for you. They're good for your circulation and your body, your legs, all that good stuff. And we use our legs a lot to walk, right? So pretty, look at that. And these are the ocean spray ones. I like these ones, they're very clean. So I really like those ones. All right, so all we have left guys is our almonds salad. So, say hello. Alright, and I'm only going to use one banana, actually. Mm, let me see. Oh, you know what? Well, we'll see. We'll see how it looks. Alright, because I know for sure my daughter's already indulging in her stuff. This is pretty much for me and my honey. My yum yum don't do this, so I think one banana is good enough. Alright, sliced almonds. Goes perfect in any kind of fruit salad and any regular salad that you do as well. So, that's gonna be our little icing on the top after we put the bananas in, because it looks, makes the bananas look so pretty. Once you, uh, once you uh, do the bananas and chop them up very pretty, and makes them look very pretty with the almonds on top, the way they fall on top for presentation. Okay, I might do both bananas, I think. Because my honey, he, he loves bananas. He's my, he's my monkey for real. <laughs> That's what I tell them. You're my monkey for real. So, do nice slices. You know, not too big, not too thin, just right. If you want to do it the way I'm doing it, yes. Yeah, I'm going to add in another banana, I think. Let me see. Well, you know what? That's perfect. Yeah, because bananas, again, bananas go bad very quickly. So, I want to make sure me and him indulge in this. Uh, right away. Yeah, that's more than enough. All right, so 
as you see, look how pretty that looks. Look at that. And don't forget to add your salt. Wherever you add some sugar, add some salt. When it comes to beautiful fruit salads like this, you'd be surprised to twist it together. All right. And mostly I do that for the kiwi. All right, so let's go ahead and drop some almonds in there. Beautiful, beautiful fresh salad. So simple. And I know they have a lot of fruit salads that are pre-packaged already. They slice them up and they do everything. But some fruits they don't put together because they go bad quicker and it's for them to sale, to, to make, you know, to sale, to make a sale of their fruits. Um, when they do cut them up, you know, they cut their fruits up very beautifully to sale. And I know the way I say words, sell, sell. <laughs> So, if they mix different kind of fruits, they can go bad quickly. So, you know where this is going. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. So, that's why I like doing my own salads because I can mix whatever fruit I want. I can add anything I want because I know I'm going to eat it that same day. So, mm -mm -mm. this is why I prefer to do my own beautiful salads. Because salad. then you get the fruit that you want, right? Okay guys, so we're gonna jump over here because remember, we still have to fry that dippy egg on top of that fish. So that's what's coming up next. Let me get my pan ready. And I'm gonna do a flip side. I'm gonna bring you over here. So stay tuned for this another clip that I'm gonna be editing to the video. Okay guys, are we ready? All right, let's go. I can't believe it's not butter. That's what I have here. All right, so we're gonna get getting that egg going. And I'm um, only doing one egg. However, I do plan on doing another egg uh, for my honey's platter on the fish, but we're just gonna do one for now. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the plating. So the healthier way, of course, to go would be, I can't believe it's not butter because it's a healthier brand, even though they have many healthy ones, but this one's affordable. I like this, this works for my budget. So let's do that dippy egg. All right. And then our last but least thing we have to do over here is cut up the avocado, and that's it. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and do two eggs at a time. How about that? Thank you. All right. So, those of you that don't know, now you know my style, what I do when I cook bacalao. If you see my bacalao dishes, you will also see in my bacalao that I do a lot of dippy eggs on my bacalao. I do it on fish, I love it. It goes beautifully, especially on a bacalao, like a crab cake bacalao that I do. And so please check out my videos. You will see how I get down in my kitchen. All right. so you we can dress the fish. But remember, we have to cut up that avocado first, which is patiently waiting right there. All 